So, last night, um, we whisked our way across the border, went to Bellingham. On an Easter Friday. It wasn't too bad because we went later. I, I was nervous. Um, so, the, the crowd's going south. I think it's the low Canadian dollar. True, but it's earlier in the day, it. I was watching the border, and it was like a three-hour wait. I was thinking, oh, no. It's an hour wait without, or an hour drive without the wait. Yeah. So... We didn't have to wait at the border very much, and then we we went to Bellingham and we watched three bands. Do you remember the band's names? Um, I do. So the first band was Oh Super Missive. That's right. Super Missive. And Super then Missive. Lip and then Lip Stitch. And then Pack Eighty. Pack Eighty. Which is who we went to see. Which is, is fun because Packy Pack AD opened up the For Bush. Bush concert. Yes. And we had never heard of them. And then yeah. oh it was, were, what are those, they just came like out two were the Pack A D and then nobody weird. said anything and it was quiet during a lot of their set. And but we as soon as they started we're like, Oh, they're awesome. That this is actually kinda of fun. <laughs> this is fun. And so while they're playing we're like looking them up on our phone. Yeah. Spotify <laughs> Spotify's your friend. So uh we came out of that that concert big fans of theirs and then yeah. this is their last now they're they're doing a last like mini tour and then they they're saying last, they're not touring for a while which is i mean, doesn't mean they won't play though they're from vancouver so yes yes so hopefully they play at one of the local bands in vancouver and we get to go down and see them again that'd be kind of nice but we but, figured going down to Bellingham, we wouldn't have to drive in Vancouver. Right. Or park in Vancouver. <laughs> right. And win and it, win. It was the, the two opening bands were both from Bellingham. Now, what's interesting yeah. is the lead singer of Lipstitch, she's in another band as well. Because I found Lipstitch and then I found her profile. And her profile, there's another band on it as well. So uh, there's a lot of different bands that all kind of coalesce there in Bellingham. Apparently, it's got quite the music scene. Which may or may not have been influenced by grunge from all those years ago. That could explain all the flannel. There was so much flannel. <laughs> it was weird because, of course, so much I'm, in, I'm in a hockey jersey because that's what I do. Yeah. Uh, I wore the Canucks one. I wore the blue Adidas for those who were taking bets. Um, and, yeah, uh, I wasn't recognized by anybody that I know of. No. Uh, but, but most of the crowd appeared to have come down from Vancouver to watch Pac-80. It was about half. Yeah. I think, well, I think as it went on, there was more Early on, from more, more, a lot of there people was, from Vancouver. There were a lot of people from Bellingham that knew the bands, though, the first two bands. The first, yeah, especially the first band. It yeah. seemed like the first band had the support of a lot of the kids in the crowd. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, it was just, it was interesting, because I know what the members of Lipstitch, and I mentioned this to you during the concert, I, I would not see those people in public and go, they're probably a rock band. <laughs> That's not... I you know, but then they 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 were pretty darn good. Yeah, they were. Uh, Lip Stitch was pretty good, and uh, Super Missive was quite entertaining. Yeah, the one guy looked like Rald. He did. He, he looked, totally looked he, like Rald. He looked like Rald from Letterkenny. If he wore eyeliner and overalls, Rald. Yeah, and it was it. They're they're fun, and so um, I know I I followed Lip Stitch. I didn't look up super super missive today, but I'm gonna follow them too. Because, you know, the odds of being discovered, discovered, of becoming a big hit in this day and age is just as much hit and miss as it used to be. But thanks to the internet, thanks to social media, and even like a channel like this, bands can become known. And uh, I'll be interested to see what happens with them. Because they seem a lot younger. I would say they were the youngest of the three bands the we super saw. super missive? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think so. And... Did you notice, too, uh, the one guitarist uh, with the blonde curly hair? Yeah. He kept coming in to listen to the bands. Yeah. And it, it looked like he was kind of getting hassled by somebody. It was like, oh, and he, he just he just wanted to enjoy the music. And I thought, you know, I can kind of, on some level, I can kind of get that where I've been, you know, out. And I it's, was oh, you're the hockey guy. And it's like, we were there. I like that, but at the same so time. So where it was at... Was it was a really tiny little place. It's like, called the Shakedown. There, there was a stage and then just a floor, but this was small. It's a bar. It's a bar. No, it's not a bar. It's for music. 
But it it I think it originally was just basically a pub. I mean, there's not like and the places stage, to sit. The, but the way that it's set up, the stage could have been added after. Maybe, but there's not like places to sit or anything, so it's for music. It is now. Um, but, but it's it, tiny. It, a it tiny is. place. So we get there, and Pack 80s just carrying their stuff in through the same door, so like and. A, Sup? He goes, oh, well, they're right there, and they're setting up their drum kit right in the middle of the floor. <laughs> yep, yeah. It was very different, but it was also, so we've been to, like, bigger places like that, where they have the stage, and it's like a bar, like the one we went for the Dead Deads, and the Dead one Deads, we went yep. for Dead South. Yeah. It's a bigger place, um, and with it being a small place, like, it, it made it so I felt like the bands, I didn't want to go and hassle them. No. Because everybody's right there and can just kind of swarm them. Whereas, like, yep. the place we went for the Dead Deads, we went over there and talked to them. Because it was so huge and they were able to get away. <laughs> but the difference, too, with the Dead Deads it was, was different. we were two of the few in the crowd that, that knew their music coming in. True. Could sing along. Had the X's painted on our eyes. True. So that was a bit of a different thing. Here, here are the Pack AD, who are the unknown in Abbotsford. Now they're the headliner. Yeah. In Bellingham, so it was kind of fun listening to. Oh, coming up next, the Pack AD, and everybody's like, yay! Yeah, I'm thinking. And meanwhile, when they came out in Abbotsford and they said we're the Pack AD, there was nothing. It was just a bunch of people like. Mm. But I, people around us in Abbotsford seemed to like them more as the show went along. They were really they, good, though. They are a band that if you find them on Spotify, I have to say they are better live. Than, than they are on disc. And they're great on disc. We have their CDs. Yeah. Uh, I bought as many of them as I could. The kiddos like them too. Uh, yes. And, you know, for me, it's still Dollhouse is the, that is just the song. That song's got such an amazing beat. The vocals yeah, are really fantastic. Fun. It is really, the only complaint I have is it's too short. It should be like <laughs> about eight minutes. So <laughs> they see this, you should release like an extended edition. <laughs> I'll take control. I'll take it in my hands. It's in good hands if I get it. But, uh, you know, I, I I liked all three bands, and to me it felt more intimate and more yeah. uh, like you're hanging out with people than you're going to a concert. Yeah. So that well, was kind of fun. That and when they had to change sets, it's just right there. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no there was no curtains. And the, the, the highlight, the highlight was at the end of Pack AD's yeah. set, when and the drummer's the, name escapes me. Oh, I'm horrible. I know Becky's the lead singer. The drummer's name escapes name me, right and she's awesome. If there's anybody this I could sit and have one. a beer with, she is in my top five. I think she would Maybe. be absolutely hilarious to sit down and talk to and have a beer yes. with. I don't even drink beer, but um, they she, were doing a theatrical presentation. Yes, the theat. Now it's time for the theatrical presentation. We're gonna pretend we're leaving. Because we can't actually leave the there stage. There was nowhere to go. No. Because it was a so... stage in the floor. There's no backstage. Ba <laughs> so, and then you guys can be, how did she put it? No, eager. you guys have to be eager. And you guys if, have if to be eager. Eager, we'll come back. We'll come back and play a few more songs. <laughs> so she just gets up and no, She goes the to the curtain. corner and was doing this. Yeah. Yeah, she's just looking up at the curtain. And the singer went through she the curtain. Went, no, she went by. She kind of opened it and kind of. Went behind the curtain. Yeah. It was really funny. And then everybody started chanting. A couple chanting guys eager. behind us started chanting eager, and I went along with that. And then they're like, okay, all right, everybody wants us back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a surprise. Encore. This is a shock. This is a surprise. We so, never expected that. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, was funny. They, they just seem like really down to earth. The funny thing is, the lead singer seems like the shyer of the two. Like, I wouldn't say, I would never say unfriendly or anything. She just seems shy. Like, the, the, the drummer was the one that did, you know, all of the, the sales talking. after and all the talking and everything. The singer, she does her thing. And then after, she, she left the stage and she just kind of disappeared. Um, which, again, that's, that's totally awesome that their personalities seem to be so different and they work really well together. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite moments, too, was when was when apparently they made eye contact and yes, that made it weird. Yes, during the song. <laughs> she said, if you're in a band, don't make eye contact because that makes it weird. Mm -hmm. I could understand how that would be if you and I were in a band and I turned around and you're drumming away and I'm playing guitar and singing. It would be kind of, eh, oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I thought, you know, very down to earth, very fun, and it only cost me 10 bucks for each ticket. 
Like 20 bucks. I think and it costs us more to drive there. <laughs> even though it was American, 20 bucks American, right. even though 20 bucks American, I mean, we're going to Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie in August, and those tickets were not cheap, but I was like, we're going. <laughs> that would be so fun. Because yeah, right. Marilyn, and I don't know how many more times he's going to tour, and that it's would be Marilyn so fun. with Rob Zombie. I'm so. kind of excited about that one. Um, yeah, I am kind of really excited. About that's that a twin bill that I am very excited about, but I was just as excited about pack 80. Uh, yeah, that, that was fun. You know, I was like, okay, it's playoffs and everything, but pack 80, because again, they're saying they're not going to tour for quite a while because they had some, I think it's because touring has some costs and I, I think they probably had a hard time making enough money to justify going on tour. Well, and they'd want to be home. Yeah. Because they're and driving, not they drive dealing in with a van, van that fails yeah, they're while they're on van. the road. And then they're kind of stuck and stranded and they miss shows. That's what happened uh, last year during their tour. They ended mm -hmm. up stranded. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, you know, all the best to them. And honestly, they, they, they deserve all the success in the world. Um, we have a lot of music videos. Out there's too. yes, and and for a two two person band, the closest I can come to describing it, it it doesn't describe their music so much, but it's like White Stripes, where with White Stripes, when you listen to their music, you go, "That's only two people." Like there's those moments where you go, "Wow, that's yeah. only two people," and they have that going for them too. Twenty one Pilots is two people as well. Yeah, and they're pretty awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing you them too, you, but I think but... I'm a little old for their demographic. <laughs> But you don't listen to it and think that it's two people. It no, I just get it. lost in Jumpsuit. Jumpsuit's such a fantastic song. Well, I was just, talking about Pack just, <laughs> just for people, but just for people who think that I don't listen to current music because I did my favorite music and a lot of it was from the eighties and Shannon does bands like a that lot of old people music. didn't yeah. ever hear, hear of. Yeah, but I've started listening to Ghost. Yes, I really like Ghost. Yes, Ghost is fantastic. He does like Ghost. And uh, yeah. Um, Pack AD, I think I think Pack AD um, needs needs to open up some kind of a, a, a an event that I have with for the hockey deads. guy with the Dead Deads. We'll have <laughs> the Dead Deads would Pack be AD. Such a fun concert, wouldn't it? That those two together would be absolutely amazing. Adelaide would want to go. But that would be that she would just be both of them. That would just be an, an absolutely amazing concert. Um, and and again, it's 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 that there's there's nothing fake. There's no. Um, pretense there's no ego it's just you feel like you're just hanging out with people and enjoying good music and also on the upside um i didn't get to take her to weezer last week which she swore and yelled at me about and threw things That's at me That's not a thing i don't swear. and then and i only yell at children good thing i'm a good ducker and uh <laughs> and and then and that i can spackle the wall and um uh, <laughs> so uh, it was just too expensive. Thankfully, it was. And then it's there's the whole playoffs time. thing, too, and just the amount of time it would have taken and everything. And um, so at, at the concert last night, Pack AD, who must have got my memo, um, they sang Buddy Holly yeah, from Weezer, fun. which was a lot of fun. Yep. And I looked around thinking, how many people in this room don't know who sings this song? Because there might have been some of the younger some ones the that younger, may yeah. not have there known. There were a lot of people our age. Though. There were. And there older. Were. And then the one drunk guy. The one the one guy. You know, at the beginning we were joking. We were about joking. We could start a mosh pit <laughs> in the middle and like the two of us would start going in a circle and do a mosh pit. Okay, this guy was doing his mosh pit all by himself in the middle of the floor. And he it was so obnoxious. So and really most I'd say a little over half of the people there were women. Yes. It was a lot of women. And then there's this tall, drunk guy throwing himself. It didn't matter if it was men or women. Yeah. And he kept, like, getting right in my face and doing this. And, and so every time every time he and did that, us... I would put my arm around her and just kind of pull her a little bit closer. And I kept inching her away from him. I was, he was like, doing I'm just... it to other ladies. There was yeah. two ladies beside us. And the one, she was getting really mad. But and when there was another couple by when us, he was behind was doing... me, when he was behind yeah. me, he kept his arm was here and he kept hitting me right in the back with his arm. And he, he drilled me a few times. And I thought, you know, I'm I'm not getting in a fight in Bellingham. I'm not <laughs> going to lose my Nexus card. I'm it's not worth it. 
But, yeah, there was some pretty stiff... And, I mean, I knew the guy was hammered, so he probably doesn't even know what he's doing. But if you notice, when he got up towards the front, there was one guy that was just pushing him. Yes, I did That was just being like, you can go over there. He was trying to block him. There were three women standing right in the front. And I think that guy was trying to block him from the three women. I don't think he knew them, but it looked like he was blocking the drunk guy from the three women. Well, it's like the one the one uh, redhead that was next to you. Her husband oh, kept she, walking out for her, too. She was not happy. Because he either. had his arm around her, and he had his arm kind of out here, yeah. too. Like, yeah, no. But that was... He was making a lot of women very uncomfortable. Y- yes. Women don't like to be touched by random men, especially when they're drunk. It makes us really uneasy. Yeah, no, and that was... there were a lot of really uneasy women then. <laughs> Yeah, that was... Luckily, it was only for the last couple songs. Yeah, that was... It wasn't the whole thing. Yeah, no, it it wasn't. And then... That would have made it not fun at all. There there were a few there that I I genuinely don't think had ever heard of them. I think they were just there to have a few drinks and maybe they were hammered. Because towards the end, somebody yells out, do you take requests? And I'm thinking, dude, they're in the middle of a set. Just stop. Right. Just just stop. See, I thought... And saying, can you play that again? I'm like, really? I thought that uh, some of them probably just went to that bar whatever well it was a 12 dollar 12 dollar cover yeah so, so the cover the cover was only two dollars more than getting a ticket to watch so i could see so you know you have nothing to do on a friday night hey let's go see who's playing yes that'd be totally fun if you lived in that area yes that'd be fun so yes. i could see not knowing the band and, and going and listening so yeah but it was it was a, a lot of fun i really enjoyed it nice. um i will keep track of where they're going and what they're doing and if if they play at another concert uh anywhere near me i would well i know they have another one in vancouver well they have one in vancouver later isn't that in the late summer though or fall like isn't Uh, it quite a ways out it's after their little um because they're in spokane tonight right because they just they started another little that would be a rough trip going from bellingham to spokane that's a long drive. Yeah. And it's not, not a very scenic drive once you get over them mountains. I know. Only it's the kinda, first, like, three hours is pretty. Yeah, and then the last three hours but. is kind of... It's just, welcome to eastern Washington. We're not western Washington. <laughs> right. That's what it should say on the signs. We're sorry, we're not western Washington. The pretty's back there. So. Yeah. But. but, yeah. Um, so, great concert. Um, very good songs, and for anybody who hasn't listened to the Pack AD, I cannot recommend them enough. They are fantastic. Yeah, they're really fun. They have fun videos, too. They're, oh, yes. They're just silly. Yes, and there's a, a video on YouTube of them uh, in a CBC yeah. studio where they're, they're performing and being, inter- being interviewed in between songs, and it's fascinating. And, uh, you know, they again, they seem, the two of them seem very down-to-earth, uh, and, and very talented. Oh, um, definitely. Fantastically talented. Very much so. And and I thought all all three bands had their own unique things. To, like I said, super missive. Give those guys a few years. Once they get themselves figured out exactly what direction, like you kind of get that feeling that they're still learning and getting it all going. Yeah. Once they get everything all going, they're, they, could, they could be pretty solid. Um, you know, they like, really... There were parts of it that I thought that kind of sounds like Floyd. There were parts I thought that sounds kind of yes. Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Uh, there was the one song that sounded kind of like a Santana type song. Yeah, uh, the and instrumental. Yes, song. very Santana ish, and and it was yeah. there was a lot in there. So I thought once once these guys have been in the studio for a while, and once these guys have have had some time to grow together, they're going to be pretty solid. And then Lipstitch, they just seem like a fun, they're fun, fun, fun group. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, all three, all three artists we liked, which is not, not always the case. No. We don't always like every act. No. no. I wasn't impressed with the cult when we went to that concert. No. I was like, wow, this, this is depressing. Bush was awesome though. Bush so. was fantastic. That was really. I fun. won't. I don't know if I'll ever get over Firewoman being played like that. I know that. Where was, the lyrics are just sort of. Just like wait. But I don't, I don't know. Firewoman, uh, does anybody know the words to this? Or I don't really care. 
But again, Bush was awesome. So that Bush was fantastic. Was, that concert was great. Bush was fantastic. Oh, I really liked seeing Bush that concert. That was. Fun. It's just Gavin's dancing. Yes, that made Gavin's it dancing even better. So that we, was great. Yeah. So so our next concert will likely be uh, Marilyn Manson and Rob Yay! Zombie, unless oh, so fun. unless there's something in between that comes up. We also though want to go to Vegas and see some more shows in August as well. So August yes. should be a busy month for and us. I would think they they do a lot in the summer. Well, because you can't go outside. Right. So yeah, they they have a lot going on. Well, yeah. we'll just him and Haw about it. And we'll see Blue Man Group again. That's my guess. I know. I I want to see something different. We have to see a different circus. I'm not going to Chris Angel. I know. We need to go to a different circus. Just Soleil. just that saying. Was so fun. There won't be Chris Angel. I really like going to that Beatles. I would rather go to the Beatles again than see Chris Angel. I can agree to that. If if I can see that Penn and so Teller once in my lifetime, that, that would, would be, be nice. Really good. I would love to see Penn and Teller. I know. We tried last summer. We tried. It's we've tried canceled. both times. I know. And and oh it, yeah, because it was at Christmas, so the so timing. it was sold out or no, there was a lot of days they didn't do it because we were there for Christmas, so yeah. the shows were a little bit different. So it's a conspiracy. I'm not allowed to see Penn and Teller. Yeah, we should look for them, and then I want to see a different Cirque du Soleil. And I'm thinking Ka. That'd be really fun. I've heard that O, the O one, is supposed to be really good too. All right, so there you go. So there'll be a lot more for us to do and talk about. But for now, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, again, fun concert, Bellingham, yes. the Little the tiny. mecca, the mecca We've of music. We've never been to a concert that small. No, I'd never been in downtown Bellingham in that part of downtown Bellingham. So it's great. It's Other a whole than new just culture for me. Driving through it during whole the Whole new, day. whole new culture for me. Totally a lot of different. Flannel. It it is weird how it's it's only a forty five minute drive and yet it feels like you're in a completely different place. Yes, feels completely different. Yeah. Vancouver doesn't, but you go that south and then it just it's where they don't know hockey and they all wear flannel. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, Even the border guy making fun of my Jets flag. Oh yes, that was the highlight for me. Was he checked out the flag and what did he think it was? I Oilers. Have... What was the it he said that it was? He has those maple leaves. I have a Jets leaves. flag. You know the flags that you put on your window? I have a Jets flag <laughs> on our van. Okay. My my van, I drive it, so it has a Jets flag. And he was like, what's this? Maple leaves? I was like, Ugh. no, the Jets. The Winnipeg Jets. And then he was like, are they an amateur team? Ugh. And I lost it. She I was thought that was so funny. And and I I think I, I think he knew who they were and he's just messing. I up said me. I said to her I said I guess he's seen them play their home games in the playoffs, so, so yeah. Um, I thought that was funny. I know I'm so articulated. Um, anyways, there you go. Uh, that was that was kind of the highlight for me was yeah, the so are they an amateur team? Fun of my <laughs> are they an amateur team? How hard it was for me not to say yep, <laughs> yep. Good call. Good guess. All right. Uh, so there you go. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And I'll talk to you again soon.